Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to do a short review of TechWave TWR20 robot uh, going over the mapping, navigation and cleaning performance. R20 robot is the latest generation of robot vacuum cleaners. In terms of specs, it uses the laser navigation technology uh, to map the house and navigate. It's quite powerful at uh, 4000 PA and it comes with a powered water tank uh, for mopping. One of the highlights of R20 is its movement. Depending on the area and the geometry, it sometimes goes back and forth in Y-shaped movement or a straight line, whichever it finds more efficient. R20 has a strong uh, suction power, as I mentioned. It can pick up any size dirt and debris. It really doesn't leave anything behind. At the bottom of the app, you can see options to change the suction pressure to three different levels. Usually the normal level is perfectly sufficient for day-to-day -day cleaning. Also, you can change the mop water flow. This robot has an electric water tank uh, that controls the water flow, unlike some other robots uh, that continuously drip water. Okay, let's look at the mapping and navigation. At the beginning, uh, once you switch on the robot, it builds a map of the floor using its uh, laser sensors, as you can see, and continues to build up the map as it moves forward. Uh, then it divides the floor to two different areas and it doesn't leave the area until it has vacuumed the whole uh, surface. The cover is supposed to be 100%. On the app you can do several things. You can draw as many virtual walls as you want uh, to restrain the movement of the robot. You can also create uh, restricted zones or cleaning zones anywhere on the map. Very easy and user friendly. At the end, uh, you can save the map with all the defined zones to use them over and over again. Once the work is done, or if the robot needs to recharge, it goes automatically back to its charging station. You can also send it anytime uh, during the operation using the remote control, the app, or the button on the device. There are many other features that I'm not going to cover, like a scheduling time for the robot to start and stop and etc. I hope you enjoyed this video and got to know this robot a bit better. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. I will leave some links in the description in case you want to find more details. If you found the video beneficial, please leave a thumbs up so that it has a better chance to reach others. Thank you and take care.